In this video, we will discuss brain development in 22Q. We will begin with a brief overview on how the brain typically develops, which will allow us to understand some of the specificities observed in 22Q. We will then focus on the relationship between brain development and some of the behavioral difficulties observed in the syndrome, including cognitive difficulties and vulnerability to mental health problems. In the final section, we will discuss some exciting recent findings concerning factors that might positively modulate brain development in 22Q. Over the course of the last 20 years, researchers have gained a much deeper understanding of the remarkably dynamic mechanisms that occur during brain development, from childhood into adolescence and into adulthood. For instance, between the ages of 5 and birth, the brain of a typically developing child more than triples in volume, with different brain regions developing at different times. For instance, regions located in the anterior frontal part of the brain are responsible for abilities such as complex reasoning or regulating emotions. Not surprisingly, these regions continue to develop well into adolescence and early adulthood. Indeed, adolescence is a period of dynamic brain development, which can be observed with modern techniques such as magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI. For instance, during adolescence, large connections between distant brain regions, similar to highways, are strengthened in order to increase the speed and integration of cognitive processes. In parallel, connections between neurons that are no longer useful are eliminated or pruned in order to increase the efficiency of the brain. A study suggests that brain development may be affected from an early age in children with 22Q. For instance, by the age of 9, children with 22Q present on average a significant reduction in brain volume, which affects some brain regions more than others. For instance, brain regions represented on this slide is known as the hippocampus, and it is particularly affected in individuals with 22Q. Research suggests that early alterations of the hippocampus may contribute to cognitive difficulties, in particular in forming and consolidating new memories, which are observed in children with 22Q. Studies also suggest that brain development may be affected at a later stage, and in particular during adolescence. For instance, studies suggest that during adolescence, individuals with 22Q tend to eliminate more connections than what would be expected. This results in an excessive reduction in gray matter volume in anterior brain regions and in the hippocampus. The atypical trajectory of volumetric reduction in the hippocampus is particularly observed during adolescence and in individuals who present psychotic symptoms, as you can see in this graph. Modern neuroimaging techniques can move beyond the measurement of brain structure and actually allow us to observe how the brain activates. Indeed, as you can see in this video, even while a subject is resting in an MRI scanner, his brain is actually extremely active, with different regions working together at different times. This approach has demonstrated that individuals with 22Q have higher activation in regions that are responsible for eliciting negative emotions, such as fear or anxiety. Moreover, these regions are also less connected to parts of the brain that are responsible for regulating emotions. Indeed, the ability to regulate, in particular, negative emotions is often limited in individuals with 22Q. Importantly, this pattern of connectivity alterations is not present at birth, but rather develops from an insufficient maturation, in particular during adolescence. Indeed, researchers have shown that a reduction in connectivity occurring during adolescence may be one of the earliest signs of vulnerability to mental health problems, such as anxiety or psychosis. These results suggest that adolescence may be a critical period of vulnerability for a typical neurodevelopment in 22Q which could account for vulnerability to anxiety and psychosis. Recently, researchers have begun to investigate which factors might modulate brain development and potentially represent strategies for treatment interventions. A first example will be detailed in more detail in the following section, dealing with environmental stress. Indeed, research suggests that individuals with 22Q may present an increased vulnerability to environmental stress, which might be associated both with poor mental health and to a typical neurodevelopment. A second exciting finding comes from research in animal models of 22Q. Indeed, mice with a 22Q11 deletion present several of the same alterations in brain connectivity which we described earlier. 
Remarkably, researchers showed that adolescence in mice is not only a period of vulnerability, but also a window for opportunity for treatment. Indeed, when medication was administered during a short period of time during adolescence, it achieved a long-lasting effect on both brain development and cognitive development in mice. Interestingly, similar results have been recently observed in children and adolescents with tinnitus. Researchers from the University of Geneva showed that individuals who had received a treatment with selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, which is medication that is commonly prescribed to treat anxiety or depression, presented more favorable neurodevelopmental trajectories. This was also associated with a significant increase in cognitive scores. From a clinical perspective, this suggests that clinicians should be extremely vigilant for the appropriate management of mental health problems emerging specifically during adolescence. Indeed, my adolescence might be a uniquely sensitive period for treatment. In this section, we learned about how differences in the way brain develops during childhood and adolescence could contribute to behavioral difficulties observed in individuals with 22Q. Current research suggests that understanding such neurodevelopmental mechanisms could inform future treatment interventions and possibly contribute to more favorable long-term outcomes in individuals with 22Q.